So watching myself on, on video has been a real eye-opener. I need to elevate my game, my presentation. So you see my videos, feel free to you know, critique it uh, in content and a presentation and style. I know I need to improve my speaking ability to get my message out there, to have the impact that I want to have. So let me go back to that, you know, that last topic. That most people go through life and they don't have a, a stirring life purpose. They're just going through the motions. They're chasing a paycheck because that's kind of what society's message has been since we were kids. Um, you know, grow up, get a job, make as much money as you can, get on the corporate treadmill, get a nicer house, a nicer car, fancier clothing. Um, you know, pay your bills, get your credit cards, be a consumer, eat the nonsense food that we're going to provide to you. And then you end up in your deathbed and you wonder, did I, what was my life about? What was I here for? Did I matter? We forgot what life is about. It's about each other, you know, for most of us. It's to contribute to the world. You can go through worrying about yourself all your life and at best, maybe you'd be successful in making yourself happy, but I don't think so. I think real happiness, real satisfaction, real energy and joy is by helping other people. I think it was Martin Luther King uh, had a famous quote, is that the most pressing life question you should constantly ask, and I'm paraphrasing, what are you doing to help others? And so let's be big. Let's think about what am I passionate about, you know? Love can solve every problem when we stand together as human beings, start taking care of each other, think of all the things that are possible. We have the technology to feed the world, you know. We don't need to, we can stop uh, wars, we can deliver world peace or make progress toward it by recognizing, again, common humanity, that we're all family. Um, when people have food on their table and clean water to drink, when they see that their children have a hope of a brighter tomorrow, think of you know how many of our family stories. Our parents came over, or grandparents as immigrants, and you know worked away to the bone to provide a better life for their children, and they were satisfied. They do that. That's what love is. But when you don't have hope, um, that's when you have problems. You know, ISIS is not a religious group. They use religion to try to recruit, but you know, it's a political group. Those people have virtually no hope for their future. We need to make sure that everyone around the world is treated with dignity, has the right to life, liberty, to pursue happiness, as long as they're not hurting other people, that they have food on their table, right? Um, that they have economic opportunity. Because when you have those things and you have a hope for a, a brighter future, nobody wants to go to war. We also have to fan the flames of democracy. You know, uh, the, the people that are governed need to have a say in their government. Who those leaders are, what laws they're going to agree on. And yeah, democracy can be ugly. Um, it, there's going to be disagreements, which are healthy. Sometimes the, the body politic is equally split on an issue. But it's the best form of government the world humanity has yet to create. To create a government and maintain a healthy government democracy is the way to go. Why are we suffering right now in America with our democracy? We dropped the ball. We stopped voting. Less than half the people in this country come out to vote. We don't stay informed about issues. We rely on corporate mainstream TV news media to tell us what's happening in our cities and around the world. And the reality is this, the same force, powers that corrupt our political system also corrupt our TV news media. It's blind greed. They are in this for profit. They chase the dollar and they always will. And God bless them. There is room for that kind of greed. I mean, this greed churns the, the wheels of industry and progress. A lot of corporations do lots of great things. Some don't. But regardless of whether they do or don't, at some point when they have all the power and money, it's unhealthy. Then people start suffering and dying. Power corrupts. Money is power in paper form. Right? Money has to be, and power have to be distributed as equitably as possible to maintain a healthy system. And I'm talking system in terms of the United States, but also the whole world is a system. We need to think bigger, stop being so small-minded, stand together as human beings. Thank you.